Hollow Knight's world is full of different bugs that appear in a 2D, hand-drawn style. Team Cherry came up with a lot of interesting character designs themselves, and I think they made a very wise decision in opening the door for other people, specifically some of the game's Kickstarter backers, to design their own characters to be integrated into the world of Hollow Knight. In this video, I'll be counting down my personal top 10 favorites of these. Number 10. Perpetos New. This one is unique simply by being a dragonfly, a bug that we don't really see represented anywhere else in the game. I like this one's head shape, stance, tail, wings, armor, and weapon. Basically, every part of the design. I also like the color scheme and how one of the wings is torn, possibly indicating some past battle struggle. Number 9, Markov. I think the moths in the game have some of the most interesting designs. Markoth manages to look like a wise sage, yet a warrior at the same time. He wears a bead necklace, yet also what appears to be a horned helmet, and the nails and shields that he fights with are an interesting shape. I also like his purple color. Number 8, Eternal Emilicia. She looks fancy enough to be amongst the upper class, but not the exact same as all the husks, so she stands out from them. I like the shape of her horns and how her clothing can be seen as either a dress, a cloak, or a combination of the two. Her design is memorable, as she'd want it to be. Number 7, Tiso. I can't describe exactly how, but Tiso's appearance conveys his personality and attitude in terms of his body language and outfit. He stands with purpose and leans with exasperation, and his weapon and armor represent his underestimation of what Coliseum combat will be like for him. Number 6, Blue Child Joni. A simplistic design that goes a long way. Like with some other characters, there was a specific bug species in mind for this one, that being the Blue Ground Beetle. I thought that Joni was really well integrated into the game's lore with her connection to lifeblood. Number 5, Marissa. Her appearance is just as beautiful as her singing voice. Just as Perpetos New is the only dragonfly character in Hollow Knight, Marissa is the only butterfly. That's not the only thing to admire about her, though. I love her pink color scheme, the detail on her wings, her fancy dress, and the flowy look of her hair. Number 4, Zero. Personally, he's my favorite of all the warrior dreams. His silhouette sports the defining feature of his horned helmet, and I like the way that the strands of his cloak billow outward as he floats around. I also think his name and the spelling of it are cool. As the first spirit most players end up seeing once they get the dream nail, he makes a good first impression. Number 3, Thistlewind. In real life, moths come in many different colors, and the ones in this game follow that trend. I love Thistlewind's light green color palette with its darker spots and the shape of her antenna. She adds some really interesting lore by being one of the only moth tribe members to take up a weapon. Number 2, Cloth. A big, burly cicada girl with a bag over her head is just an endearing concept, and her heart is just as big as her muscles. Her use of a club as a weapon is unique and cool, too, and it fits her. I have a personal headcanon that where cloth comes from, covering one's head with a cloth like she does is the cultural equivalent of wearing a mask in Hallow Nest. Before I get to number one, I've got some honorable mentions. In no particular order, these are Tuck, Kin, Garo, Atra, Boss, and the Gravedigger. Number 1, God Tamer. A two-for-one special consisting of a couple of badass characters, the hard work required to witness these two in action is well worth it. I love the idea of the rider and beast being a team yet fighting separately. This boss is also integrated perfectly into the lore and combat system of the Colosseum. Super impressive all around. So what do you think? Do you agree with my choices? What are some of your favorite backer-designed Hollow Knight characters? Let me know in the comments! Thank you for watching this video. 
consider subscribing to see more content about some great games and media. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.